to my channel this is elevate with kp parker just thought i'd come in and just kind of thank everyone that watched the last video thank everyone that's supporting my channel um i know that we talked about a couple of videos back that this channel was going to be a learning channel so i'm really excited about the videos that i have coming up and i hope that everyone's having an amazing amazing day and you know what i do every day that i wake up i say this is going to be a good day so we're going to speak it into existence that this is going to be a good day but i wanted to do a video video and i thought about um right now it's it's really hard for everybody right now. Yesterday, a 12 year old actually shot another 12 year old in the state that I live in and killed him. So um, it just made me think about, you know, loving ourselves more. Not sure what was on his mind. Just kind of prompt me to think about, you know, uh, ways that we can love ourselves um, a little bit more. And yeah, it was just, he was in middle school. So anyway, I came up with 10 ways to love yourself. In 2022, it's kind of hard for everybody. and We're neglecting ourselves, trying to make ends meet, trying to do things, you know, trying to watch our kids and make sure our kids are spiritually and mentally grounded. So, yeah, we got to think about ourselves first. You know how the, when you're on the airplane and they say, put your mask on first before you put somebody else's mask on? So it's kind of like that. We got to love ourselves before we're able to even love our children or teach them how to love or teach them things in the world. So, yeah, I thought about that and I thought this would be a good video and a good time to intersect that so um the first thing i thought about so we're gonna do 10 ways to love yourself so the first thing is listen to your body i used to feel tired all the time and i started looking into ways to feel better for me you know um this might not be for everybody but i'm talking about me you know i suffer with high blood pressure and all kind of stuff you know depression and all of that you know that's videos bad but i mean 2022 i thought about you know i'm going to be my authentic self i'm going to listen to myself and listen to my body and when you listen to your body you're actually loving on yourself so i wanted to introduce you to my detox i have a detoxing tea and i try to detox at least two to three times a week it is very very important um when I started detoxing out, I started feeling so much better. Seriously, I'm not playing. I started feeling so much better. Not the pain in my foot, but just my body overall, my mental and, you know, my uh, physical health. It really, really helped me out when I started detoxing. So I said, you know what? I want my own tea. So it will be coming. I will be launching it in the next two weeks. I'm very excited about it. And I'll do a video on it when I launch it. But yeah, detox and taking care of yourself. You know, listen to your body. The second thing is hydrate. Take in as much water as you can. You know, and I got my water right here. I carry this around in the house. So... Make sure you stay hydrated, you know? Um, that's the second thing, I know that wasn't, I just had my water there and I was thirsty, but anyway. Um, yeah, hydrate. And the third thing, exercise. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes. I'm like, I don't have time, I don't have time. But going to physical therapy, I realize I do have time, you know? So I exercise at least 15 to 30 minutes a day. It's really, really helpful. I'm not lying, mentally, physically, it just helps your body. Uh, me and my husband would walk sometimes during the afternoon. We just walk together and it's so helpful. It's so romantic. I love it. I love our time that we spend together. So yeah, take like 15 to 30 minutes of your time and just exercise. It's for you. It's for your body. And the fourth thing is learn a new skill. Um, I am really big on reading on things that I don't, I'm interested in and I don't have no knowledge of. So yeah um read a take a learn a new skill you know like right now i'm reading this book it's called attitude is your superpower and it's about emotional intelligence i'm really stuck on that right now but it's a really good read i try to read to ex educate myself on things that i don't may not under have a, a good understanding and one thing i wanted to say too while this is on my heart sometimes when we watch videos when we watch you know people read certain books you know you could read a book and get a different understanding what i say don't make it long you know just these are things that have helped me so my channel i just want to be able to help somebody else so i'm putting it out there in the universe you know i want this channel to be able to help women so yeah detoxing learn a new trade stay hydrated 
and take some time off social media. Sometimes, y'all, I ain't lying. Sometimes under my picture, I read certain comments. Some of them are bad, some of them are good. But still, it kind of affects your mental when you read all those bad comments. And to be honest, if you're honest with yourself, the first thing we do when we wake up in the morning is get on social media. So yeah, take some time off of social media. Get quality sleep. That's another thing. I try to get at least eight to 10 hours of sleep. We all need to sleep. Get your sleep, get your rest. There's a lot going on in the world. Like I said, as parents, as adults, you know, trying to teach our kids, we can't be mentally there or physically there if we're not getting a proper rest. So these are 10 ways to love yourself in 2022. Um, get quality sleep. The seventh thing is stop comparing yourself to others. Now that's big. You have to stop hopping on every trend that comes out because you're not going to figure out who you are. If you hop on every trend that comes out, and I'm guilty of it, every new makeup that came out I had to have. Well, I'm I'm not hopping on every trend. I'm going to live the rest of my life, my authentic self and be who I am. So that's just my advice. You can do whatever you want to do, but it don't seem like you're going to figure out who you are. If every trend or it, whatever the wind blows, that's the way that you go. It just screams you're not we're not authentic we're not ourselves we're whoever we're trying to be so yeah that's my spill on that love on yourself more um i haven't done a video about my nighttime routine so i will interject it in this video but yeah love on yourself at night you know take care of your skin take care of your body i actually take a bath with goat milk and you may not have heard of it but it just makes you feel so good it makes your body feel good it's soothing to your body it just makes me feel so smooth you know so at night when my husband rub up on me i'm just smooth you know i love it so yeah um love on yourself so i will include my nighttime routine and the ninth thing i said is stay connected to god we have to stay connected to god in this day and time because our mental would be all messed up yeah stay connected to god read your word and if you don't you don't want to read i know audible has a book um the bible listen to it you know it's very very soothing and the tenth thing is be your authentic self you got to be who you are, you know, be your authentic self. That's important in 2022. And that's important to me right now. That's super big for me is to be who you are, be who you want to be. And it's okay. You know, a lot of people not going to like who you are. A lot of people not going to like where I'm going. And a lot of people can't go where I'm going. And I'm okay with that. You know, I want to build my empire. I want to build the, my, what I love, what I'm interested in, you know, um, yeah. So I got a business now. I am being who I am. And yeah, those are my 10 things. You know, it might be 10 other things that somebody else have to love yourself. But that's my spell on and I hope you enjoyed it. I will include the clip at the end where I do my nighttime routine just to take care of my body and take care of my skin. So that is it. That's my spill. Uh, what I say don't make it law. And just want to say thank you if you stayed with me this long with the video. And to my new subscribers, I want to say welcome to my old subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting me. This is my dream. This is my passion. This is my desire is to help women be the authentic self. So yeah, this is Elevate with KP Park. And until I see you again, take care.